coordinate all of the transition efforts of the agencies. The first meeting of that council will be October 15th, next Wednesday, at the um, Eisenhower Executive Office Building. The Transition Coordinating Council includes people with authority and expertise relevant to presidential transitions and in areas of special focus, including national security, homeland security, and our economy. I, I believe it's fair to say that we are doing more than has done bef been done before to prepare, and there are a couple of reasons for that. There, uh, things are a little bit different. Now, one thing that's different is that we have a Department of Homeland Security that we did not have uh, in 2000. Of course, there wasn't a need for a transition in 2004. Also, in 2004, the Intel Reform Act was passed, and that bill allowed pr sitting presidents to start working with major party candidates' designees prior to uh, the president-elect being named. We've been in regular contact with both candidates' transition teams by phone and in person that started last summer, uh, this past summer, 2008, to be clear. Uh, we've worked to facilitate security clearances for key transitional personnel from both teams, We've worked to uh, establish working groups uh, within the White House and throughout the administration to outline internal roles and responsibilities. Each agency has been directed by the president to uh, prepare briefing materials, and also career executives at the agencies have been involved in a range of activities to ensure that they're ready to provide continuity during the transition. Uh, we've provided information to assist in identifying the most important positions to focus on, including details relating to responsibilities as well as the appointment, security clearance, and confirmation processes. Uh, throughout our, our discussion and efforts, I would characterize the two candidates' transition teams as uh, being very cooperative in spirit and tone. Um, each candidate's designees have been treated equitably. Um, all information that is shared with one is shared with the other and at the same time. Um, this is not about politics. It's about doing the very best for our nation. And I'll be happy to answer any questions on it that you have. Can we go to uh, other subjects as well? If you want to. Thanks. Does the uh, idea of the federal government taking part ownership in a number of U.S. banks fit with the president's uh, philosophy of free enterprise? Uh, the, as the president has said, that the radical and bold aggressive steps that we are taking on the economy are not ones that, his, that were part of his natural instincts. But when presented with the evidence that the financial crisis about to hit the United States would affect every single American up and down the economic food chain, this president decided that it was important that the government take robust action. That's why we worked with Congress to establish the rescue package. Part of that package includes a broad range of authorities for the Treasury Secretary. Um, what you're referring to, I believe, is capital injunctions uh, that would actually be investing in banks, but um, not taking them over. Not taking the, them over, but doesn't this idea envision that the government would have part ownership in a number of banks? It, it, would, it would include an equity stake, yes. And how far along is that, a, that idea? Uh, I would refer you to the Treasury Department for that, but I, that is a part of the range of authorities that they were given, and this is a dynamic situation. We still have a volatile uh, stock market, and Secretary Paulson is looking at all the different tools to figure out which ones should be used at what time and how robustly and how much money to put into each. He said it's going to take a little bit of time, though, as they implement these uh, the rules and regulations that Neil Kashkari is now in, uh, in, involved in. Um, so let me refer you over there on specifics for on that's that. That's an idea that the president would be okay with. Uh, it was a part of the rescue package that the president supported, and it gives the Treasury Secretary a range of possibilities, and uh, investing in uh, banks directly was one of those authorities, and Secretary, Tre Secretary uh, Paulson can use that authority as he sees fit. But given the fact that the markets have not reacted positively so far, or at least not very, wouldn't the president like to see that kind of authority used sooner than later? Well, uh, um, one of the things that the president wants is to make sure that these new authorities are used in the most effective and efficient way possible. They are moving at lightning speed uh, for government type work and trying to establish how quickly people can get in those positions so that they can work on the reverse auctions that were also a part of the authority. Uh, this, these capital injections are something that Secretary Paulson is actively considering, but I'd have to refer you to him as to when he thinks he'd be able to make the first move. And the president, uh, just to go back over this ground again, the president doesn't object to this in spite of his free market stance? As I said, the, the, the president's natural instincts, w w when first presented with these issues, uh, was 
not to have government involvement. But when he realized that it wasn't just a few executives on Wall Street who were going to lose their shirts, but it was possibly everyone in America. And now, if you look around the world, everybody's suffering. The president said the government has the tools and the ability to be able to step in and stem this crisis. And there was no way he was going to stand by and let everyone be hurt by the bad decisions of a few. Toby. Is the United States uh, still planning to take North Korea off of the terrorism list, given all the activity that's happened recently? Well, with the... Barring the monitors. Mm -hmm. uh, Barring the monitors is certainly regrettable. What we have said, and which hasn't changed, is that a verification protocol is essential to them getting to be able to come off the terrorism list. But, but are you still planning to take them off the terrorism list? Well, we still want to get a verification protocol, so I think the answer to both is yes. We were, if we can get a verification protocol uh, that we are satisfied with, then we would be able to fulfill our side of the bargain. Dana, to follow on that, has the president been briefed yet on Chris uh, Hill's talks in North Korea? Uh, I, I'm not positive, although I know Secretary Rice was here either yesterday morning or this morning, I think yesterday morning, so I believe that he probably had been uh, talked to. Whether or not there I don't. was progress. Nothing else I could provide. No. Dana, the president mm -hmm. again talked about the need to come up with a common policy for the countries to work together. How realistic does the White House believe that a common policy will be able to be reached this weekend? Well, a couple of things. Remember, what I said is that the president recognizes that each individual country has, is going to address their individual needs as they see fit, but that coordinating uh, is, is the responsible thing to do. You saw the, uh, the Fed governors decided to work together on a rate cut, so that was coordination that we could do all together. That ne wasn't necessarily something that you could do country by country that would be effective. So this meeting this weekend, uh, actually tomorrow, uh, Friday, and then Saturday, will be important going along the way to find out what we can find. that something will come out of it from this weekend? I, I, I have to refer you to, to the Treasury Department, who sets the agenda and is going to be hosting the meeting. Uh, what we wanted to continue to do is work to stem the current crisis and address the long-term issues uh, moving forward. I'm figuring out the long-term vision for a regulatory structure is going to be something that's very important, but it's not necessarily something that you can do when you're in the middle of trying to stabilize and strengthen and return confidence to the markets. So we'll keep you updated on that, and in the meantime, you might try the Treasury Department, who has the agenda for tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Um, there were two analysts from the National Security Agency on ABC this morning saying that they monitored phone calls between military officers, journalists, aid workers in Baghdad and Kabul with their spouses, with their girlfriends, two Americans. The president has already always assured us that phone calls like that would only be monitored if one of them was affiliated with Al Qaeda. I'll have to check on that. Martha, I'm sorry I didn't see ABC this morning. So I, I don't this is the first I've heard of it. I've not they, I'm not aware they of the report. On television. Basically, does that sound legal to you? Uh, Martha, I'm not going to comment on something that I haven't seen, so I'll go back and I'll check, but I'm just sorry I haven't seen, I didn't see ABC this morning. Do you agree with the uh, NIE that uh, apparently says that uh, Afghanistan is in a downward spiral and that the Afghan government basically can't do anything to stop it. Well, I, I haven't seen the NIE. It's not been finalized, and I don't. And I believe Secretary Rice even said this morning that she hasn't even seen it. So, I, however, having said that, I don't think it should come as a surprise to anybody that things are tough in Afghanistan right now. We have been saying that for a while. Uh, the purpose of what we're working on right now is to put Afghanistan on the right footing for long-term success. We have done a, a variety of things over the past couple of years to deal with what is a dynamic situation. The, um, the war in Afghanistan has changed dramatically. We've made significant progress since 2001, but in several of the provinces, especially on the border er in the border area, we have a lot of problems. It's one of the reasons that we've increased our troops' uh, presence. Uh, let me just see here, just to check.